DSS man they let me know say Nigeria go better, Nigeria no go better. The only way Nigeria go better is it's either they split this country or coup will stick over. Oh, who be the people who won't do coup? We bola met if people don't buy them. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, should not come back there. I told us how things they go matter the play for Nigeria. They to bring up from that dusted. Make when I say how the things they unfold. Guys, not be smart. I tell when I say DSS man. I told us I will bring that video for now. You know, I need to take permission from the man to know if I need to talk about this issue or not. Because Nigeria, even the DSS man said, himself they fear for your life. The way the country can do now. Now remember the video where Aisha do where they talk say DSS won't arrest Aisha. Blah blah blah, different thing. When I come to say, oh yeah, oh, when I go arrest, the DSS man they let me know say Nigeria go better, Nigeria no go better. The only way Nigeria go better is either they split this country or coup will stick over. Oh, who be the people who won't do coup? We bola met if people don't buy them. Guys, small goes to down to this news. The DSS man they let me know say they saw the video Aisha did talking about bola met if people. He said, yes, yeah, she's right. The video Aisha did, she's right. That was the perfect video. Because even the same Bola Ahmed 15 book we're talking about today, the same Bola Ahmed 15 book castigated Good Luck Jonathan. When Good Luck Jonathan was president, Bola Ahmed 15 book castigated that man, did a lot of atrocity on Good Luck Jonathan. So it's now Bola Ahmed 15 book turn. Why are people complaining? Allow the citizens to talk. Because the way the country is now, the country is not moving fine. The country is not. They are not governing the country properly. So allow the citizens to talk. Then I not told the DSS man, why are you people harassing Nigeria citizens? Why not going after the government? Who put you guys in this mess? Just listen to what this guy is saying. He said, you know, this government they know what they are doing. This government reduced us to the extent. We we'll go out there and start harassing Nigeria citizens. This government don't pay us our salary in time. In short, they don't pay us two, three, four months. They don't pay us our salary. And I ask him, why? He said, because they want to be using us. They want to, you know, take us as if we are their boys. That is what the DSS was telling me. And I told him, then. Why not calling these people out? He said, if you call them hard, they're going to arrest us or sack us. Then I told him, why are you channeling your energy on the Nigeria citizens? They are not your problem. Nigeria politicians are your problem. Why channeling your energies on Nigeria citizens? Why forcefully collecting money from these people? The DSS man told me, hey, you know, they don't pay our salary. Hey. Then I said, no. Call these people hard. We are bloggers. We're going to put our voice and we we'll call the Nigeria politicians out. You guys need to call Nigeria government out. Then, I'm the one talking to the DSS now. You guys need to call Nigeria government out. Tell them, we don't like what you guys are doing to us. We put our life out there to protect lives and property, but we don't receive our salary. He said, eh, you know, eh, we cannot call them out. We are scared. Then I said, why are you scared? If you are scared, then why are you DSS if you are scared? Why are you DSS if you are scared? I told him, see, my brother, let me tell you something. Nigeria is every one of us country. It's not for the politicians, neither is one person alone. It's for everybody. Every one of us need to speak out. In any area you know, these people are not doing this right. Just, you know, speak it out. We the blogger, we see it, we blog it, we put more awareness. The world will see it. But when you guys keep silent, nobody will know what is going on. That is what I was telling him. Then he said, okay. Then I told him, did you see the soldier that was arrested? That soldier man who said he want to go to he wants to go and greet his family. They are paying him 50,000 naira and the TP was 70,000 naira. Then he went back to the bush. He said, yeah, he saw the video. I told him, do you know that uh, the chief of army staff arrested that guy just because he came out to, you know, speak his mind? He said, you know, they arrested him. Then I said, why is the army staff, why are they acting this way? He said, it is not their fault. They are following orders. Who are these other people? From the top. 
Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, the politicians. They are following others. So they don't want these people to talk. They don't want them to, you know, express their feelings. When they express their feelings, they think the world will know what they are doing to their security men. The world will know what they are doing to their security men. So, what this guy is telling me now, the only way Nigeria will be better is either cool or splitting. Because Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, like what he said, he said Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu cannot do anything to face this country. They are not there to face. They are only there to stay. I was shocked when he was talking to me. Shocked. So, Nigeria government, you guys have this mind to treat everybody bad. And you guys are looting money. And tell me, where are you guys taking this money to? No, if I may ask, where are you taking this money to? This money was supposed to be, you know, used for the country. Pay salaries. You know, fees the country. But you guys are not doing that. You are embezzling this money. Keep this money in your pocket, in your bank account, and people are suffering in the country. The one that pains me most is the security man. Nigeria police, Nigeria soldiers, the DSS, who put their life out there to save life and property. But the government don't care about them. The government don't even pay them. The DSS man said he have four kids. Four kids. But how they live is terrible. How they live is terrible. He said the reason why they are, you know, tasking Nigeria people is because they know that is the only way they can get money. And I told him that's stealing. He said, yes, they know. It's not, it's not right. But they have to do it because the government don't care for them. The government don't, don't pay them their salaries. It took months before they received one month salary. Then, Nigeria government, tell me, if you cannot pay your security guys, then why do we have security in the country? Why do we have DSS soldiers, soldiers, Nigeria police? Why do we have these guys in the country? If you cannot pay these guys, then you send them out there to go and fight Boko Haram bandits, full of the X-Men. With had them receiving salaries. This is wickedness, Nigeria government. This is wickedness in the highest order. Fee for these people. Have conscience. This is wickedness, what you guys are doing. This is wickedness. What you guys are doing is wickedness. Nigeria government, Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu. So you cannot fix that country? They know. They know the reason why you buy the soldier, you pay them off. Because you know coup was about to take place in Nigeria. But what happened? You quickly blocked that area. You quickly blocked that area for coup not to take place in Nigeria. And this DSS man is telling me the only way Nigeria will be better again is either coup or change of government. We need a better leader or they split the country. As the only way, Nigeria will be better. If not, we're going to suffer this government the way they are suffering it now. That's what this DSS man told me. I was like, wow. So, Nigeria government, but I met if Tinibu, we know right from time that you're him towards that country is to see the country collapse but we're not going to give you that chance to do it we're going to make sure we fight so hard to make sure you leave that office but Ahmed Tiftinibu the rightful person will come and rule Nigeria but Ahmed Tiftinibu your evil will soon catch up with you you see this uh, APC chief Kario is it Kario uh, Ojugbo that be ROIP. Many of you will go down like that very soon. 
because what you guys are doing to nigerian citizens not just the citizens alone nigeria soldier nigeria police dss in short all the security agents in the country what you guys are doing to them one day your cop will feed up don't worry i told the dss man they should start and stop harassing nigerian citizens they are not the problem of their own problem nigeria government is the problem to them they should try and sort it out call out nigeria government call them out when we see the video we will share it but you guys keeping silent we will think everything is everything is nice they are treating you guys well yes but when you call them out the world will know okay the government are really bad so this time changes has to come then I told him, why can't you guys just come out and do protests? Who's some protests? Everybody will come out and support you guys. He said they can't do it because they have power above them. I was like, this is crazy. Nigeria government are wicked. They are the most wicked government I've ever seen in my life. Nigeria government. They are the most wicked government I've ever seen in my life. Treating their citizens bad. God. Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu, it shall never be well with you. The mind will touch God. Just wait for it very soon. That's how we end this video. Please help me to share this video. The DSS man, I didn't mention his name. Oh. When I don't go attack him, when I don't go say, I did call his name, I didn't mention his name. He said I should withhold his name, so I didn't mention anybody's name. But I said, DSS man. Mm up to me that going through hell in Nigeria. Aisha cannot be arrested because she said the right thing. That's what Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu did to. Good luck Jonathan. So that's what Bola Ahmed Tiftinibu is facing now. So you need to face the country. I end this video. I come up here. Help to share this video. To do so. God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe guys and bye bye.